Looking for one of the best ice cream shops in all of the San Fernando Valley and Los Angeles that makes incredible crafted ice cream with unique flavors? Today, we're at Pop's Artisanal Creamery in San Fernando. Let's get to it. The San Fernando Valley has a lot to offer. Amazing food, rich history, tons of community events, and amazing people and organizations. I'm Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group, and this is Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley. Hey Martha, it is a pleasure to be here, my friend. Tell me about Pops Artisanal Creamy and what it's all about. Well, we are an artisanal ice cream shop, which, you know, first off, that just means handmade, you know, so these are all my own, my own personal recipes. Um, you know, pride myself on being a gold standard for ice cream in the, um, in the LA area. Martha, your family comes from a history of ice cream making. Talk to me about that. Well, yeah, like we talked about before, it's six generations, Scott, six generations of ice cream makers. And to this day, in, in Belize, that's where, where I grew up. I still have uh, family members that have ice cream parlors, and if not ice cream parlors, like selling um, ice cream on like three-wheel bicycles to this day. All right, so with all this history of making ice cream in your family, what are you trying to, to make your stamp on the ice cream that you're making here? You know, knowing that we're here in Los Angeles and it's a, it's a melting pot, you know, it's very, the, the demographics are pretty diverse. You know, I, I make things like Thai tea, honey lavender, um, an exotic fruit from Peru called lucuma. So what it is just to kind of, just kind of use what I have and then, the, then just the, the backgrounds of all the different like cultures in LA and kind of infuse those two things together so that you can come in here and like have like a, a wine tasting experience where whether or not you're looking for something fruity or tart, nutty, or just a classic old vanilla bean or chocolate, we have that. So it's just more of a, a flavor selection versus like one specific type of ice cream. But with those type of unique flavors that you're able to offer that you really can't really find in a lot of places here in Los Angeles, let alone the San Fernando Valley, how do you source your ingredients to put all that together? Well, I try to do that very, as transparent as I can. And what I mean by that is um, I want everybody to know I get my avocados from Rick's Produce, for example, right? I, I, whatever family farm I'm working with, I like to highlight who they are. Things that I, can get, that I get out of the country, like her cacao, I source that from Belize, uh, or lavender from Province France, just like the best ingredients I can find. All right, so what are we making today? So we're gonna make, uh, I think our, we'll, we'll go with our most popular uh, dessert, which is our coconut sundae. It's, um, I think it's the best sundae in LA because you get to experience the exotic flavors and a, and, a, and a bed of fresh coconut shavings. So we start by cracking the coconut in half and then we use a coconut grater to make like this fine, moist, milky coconut shavings. And we put the ice cream on top and we put toppings and um, not too much because we want, really want the ice cream to stand out. All right, well, I can't wait to see what this sundae looks like. So let's put our masks on. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, let's get cracking, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I am stoked to be able to try the coconut sundae. So I have three flavors, uh, the lucuma, the honey lavender, and the guava cheese. So the one that I've been really itching to be able to try is the lucuma, and that's actually a fruit mostly from uh, South America and the Peru region. And uh, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Wow, there's such a contrast in flavor on there because you have this maple flavor and then it's combined with a nuttiness. And so you get two flavors in one, just in that one bite. And then the honey lavender. It's a lot richer, as is all the flavors here. You just, the, the texture, the creaminess that you find in a handcrafted uh, artisanal ice cream shop. This is why you come to Pop's Creamery to be able to try all these different flavors as well as to be able to try handmade ice cream. Can then, again, cannot recommend these guys high enough. If you like this episode, make sure you like, share, comment to your friends and family so we can support Pop's Artisanal Creamery here in the city of San Fernando at 450 North McClay. 
And again, we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Eat, Live, Love, San Fernando Valley. <laughs>